So in my last video, you saw I pulled down the Honda lead engine and we found the damage inside it. The first thing I'm going to fix is the head. Now I've done a heap of researching and Google and stuff on how to fix this. I've decided to ignore all that and just make it up my own way as I go along. So, to the lathe I guess. First things first, we take this over to the Soviet lathe. Because everybody loves the Soviet lathe. That is, everybody loves it probably except the guy that was getting whipped in 1966 because he wasn't making enough single-use engine parts for like a MiG-25. But everyone else apart from that guy loves the Soviet lathe. So the plan is to remachine the combustion chamber. On a two-stroke head like this one, you see there's no valves in it. It has this flat area here, which is like the squish zone, and then it has the dome here. And as you can imagine, with this flat area, as the piston comes up, the last little bit, the piston almost matches up with this flat spot, and so it squeezes all the air and fuel out of here into the middle. So what I'm going to do is reshape this piece, and then machine down the like mating flange here to match, to try and keep the compression the same. So, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I don't really care. And I'm going to change the angle of the squish to change how the air goes under the inside. And, yeah, first thing you need to do, take this chuck off, put that chuck on. I'll explain why in a second. The chuck that's in here at the moment is a three-jaw self-centering chuck. So obviously there's three jaws. But when I turn the handle, all three of the jaws close up together. So if you put something round in here, it'll hold it in the middle. Problem is, this isn't round. It's square, and it's a weird shape. So we're going to put the four jaw chuck on. So now that the four jaw is mounted, apart from the obvious that it has four jaws, they all move independently of one another, so I can grab onto weird shaped stuff. So let's get the head set up. I need to flip these over. So I've got the four jaws adjusted roughly for the head to fit in. So you put it in, tighten two of them down. But straight away if I spin that, you can see it's not even close to being centered. Well actually, <laughs> not as bad as I thought. But it's not as close to being centered around the combustion chamber. So to get it roughly centered, I'm just going to wind the tool post up to it. And then I'll adjust each jaw individually to move it around and get it close. Okay, so it's mounted up in the lathe now, and it's running true. It looks a bit funny because the spark plug's off-center on this head, but I assure you it's running true enough at least. I can't tighten this down too much because it's sort of grabbed on the fins on one side and this side's a bit of a taper so if I tighten it down it wants to squeeze out so I won't crank it but it is aligned as I can get it. There's no nice surface to measure off and I realised that this head, looking at it very carefully, didn't actually match onto the top of the piston perfectly to begin with so definitely close enough. So what we'll do now is set the angle that we want to cut. So on the lathe we have the big handle here that moves our tool this way We've got the little one at the top here that goes that way, but on top here we have the compound slide, and this is like a third smaller one, but this little one at the top here is mounted on a rotating section, so if I loosen off these nuts, I can spin this section around, so what we'll do is we'll set this to the angle we want, and then we'll use the small cross slide to come in and cut the angle. So what I'm going to do is I'll just wind it up to the taper that's there, We'll match it, and I'll give it a little bit extra, and then we'll leave it at that. Or we'll remachine it at that. Okay, so to get a good finish in aluminium, you want to run it at a high-ish RPM. But because this isn't held in here very well, I don't want to run it at a high RPM. So I'll pick the middle ground somewhere, and I've just set it to 450 RPM. So hopefully it doesn't fly out and hit me in the face, but hopefully we actually get a good finish. So, I guess there's nothing left to it but to do it. We'll take the first cut. Okay, so that was about, well, wasn't about, that was exactly half a millimetre. And there's two tiny little marks left, but I'm happy with that. So now, because we've lost half a millimetre of compression effectively, or it's half a millimetre deeper, I'm now just going to take a half mil face over the whole thing, and then that's the head ready to go, I guess. That was easier than expected.
Mint. Like new. Look at that. Like new again. It's funny that it doesn't quite, like this outside bit doesn't quite sit in the centre. I'm guessing that's because it's just the casting of the head's not quite bang on because I did dial it up. But that's the end of that, I guess. That head is ready to go again. There's a few little porosity marks in the casting, which is kind of to be expected, but other than that, it looks mint. It's kind of weird the spark plug's not in the middle, but that's just how Honda made it. If this head doesn't work, then I think I'll be making a billet head from scratch. But this one should be okay for now. Nice short video for today. That looks good. Ready to go. I'm not yet to decide what I'm going to do with the piston, but tune in next week to see what happens to the piston, or maybe the week after whenever I get around to the piston. But hope you liked the video. I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers. If you can help me get there, that'd be great. And see everybody on the next video when the piston might get machined, or maybe I'll do something else, whatever I feel like. Bye. <laughs>